I would love to talk about Generation Dread because this is such a fabulous book. If you haven't read this, I highly, highly recommend it. And, you know, Britt pulls on her own personal narratives, but also really extensive research that's out there in this world and puts it together in a way that um, you have this whole section that I love where you say it is reasonable to feel these. It is sensible to be worried. It is normal to be freaked out. It is, and you, you go through just to tell everybody that everything that they're feeling is is a perfectly reasonable, rational response to what we're facing and, and what we're losing and what we're experiencing. And so, you know, how how did Generation Dread come to be? Yeah, well, because, and you sometimes hear writers say this sort of thing, that the most generative space to create from is a place of pain. You know, you write the book that you needed to read. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was really the case here that I didn't have a good um, tool that I could rest on to guide me through the amount of distress I was experiencing. And a lot of that distress is well encapsulated from a film like Don't Look Up, for instance, where scientists are trying to warn the world that an asteroid is coming, it's going to destroy everything, and everyone's distracting themselves with celebrity culture and misinformation and not wanting to face difficult realities because they're, because um, they're difficult realities. <laughs> Exactly. 